Welcome to Virginia Tech Chemical Engineering. I'm Dr. Gary Whiting. I'm the undergraduate advisor and a professor of practice at Virginia Tech. The Department of Chemical Engineering is housed in Goodwin Hall on the Tech campus. Uh, we're sorry that you can't be on campus today to personally interact with us, but we're very pleased to present this and hopefully you'll have some time to interact with us post this presentation in our chat. What is chemical engineering? The traditional definition of chemical engineering is starting with bench scale synthesis of materials and scaling up production of value added products, designing, constructing, and operating processes to produce products at a large scale in a safe and environmentally responsible manner in a way that adds value to our company and society. So this was the traditional definition of chemical engineering but now it's evolved into much more. You may think of chemical engineering as this. This is a large scale chemical plant. Uh, this is a plant that I worked on for a number of years in industry. It produces a large volume of product. Uh, and historically, this may be of what you thought the role of a chemical engineer was to support manufacture of a large scale chemical process. However, the roles of chemical engineering have evolved over time to encompass much more than this. Chemical engineering is much more than just chemical productions. Some areas where chemical engineers have careers include materials production, including plastics, fibers, and ceramics, consumer product manufacture, food and beverage industry, energy production, cosmetic and skin care manufacturer, agricultural, medicine, national security, safety, environmental and sustainability, automotive development, including battery development, coatings, biological and biomedical engineering, electronics, and even law, patent law. Chemical engineers are everywhere. So traditionally, you might think of chemical engineers being involved in the chemical industry. About 30% of chemical engineers do end up supporting the chemical industry and another 15% gas, oil, petrochem, energy. But there's a wide variety of other roles that chemical engineering, chemical engineers fill, including electronics and computer manufacture, materials, food and consumer products, biotechnology and pharma, research and development, environmental engineering and safety, and construction of various chemical plants and food processing plants. Some companies that recruit Virginia Tech chemical engineers are shown in this slide. Advancex, BAE Systems, ExxonMobil, Eastman Chemical. A wide variety of companies are looking for and hire Virginia Tech chemical engineers because of their capability. Look this slide over and see if any company resonates with your student. How do we prepare our chemical engineering graduates in the Department of Chemical Engineering at Virginia Tech? Well, we start out with solid fundamentals, which requires about two to three years of study. We're going to move them in in the summer of the third year into unit operations laboratory, where they have a chance for study abroad as part of the unit operations laboratory experience, if they so choose. And then we're going to move along into the senior year where they have a capstone project called senior design. We also offer cooperative education experiences in independent study and undergraduate research. So a hands-on, minds-on approach, experiential learning and practice. Unit Operations Laboratory, we have three possibilities. Students can take the experience in Blacksburg during the summer of their junior year, and that's a six-week experience. They earn a letter grade, uh, they have their summer in Blacksburg, and there are about stu 30 students in each section. Students can also apply to take Unit Operations Laboratory in Denmark. We have one session in July, it's a four week session. We have a Virginia Tech professor and a teaching assistant that travel along with them. It offers transfer credit and typically we have about 30 
or more students that exercise this opportunity. We also have a more limited opportunity in Germany at Ruhr University in Bochum. It's an eight-week experience where students will go in initially and work with Ruhr University professors on a research opportunity. They then progress into a unit operation lab opportunity. In the unit operations laboratory, students are going to work on larger scale equipment that may be more like what they would experience in an actual plant environment in their ultimate destination. In Denmark, this five-week study abroad program includes cultural experiences, uh, on hands operating experiences, and a good chance for students to interact with other students as they're there. We often have students that stay on after and maybe do some touring with each other. It's a great learning environment for students and a real growth opportunity. Senior design is our capstone process. Uh, our university distinguished professor, Y.A. Liu, teaches this course where they utilize design software, Aspen Plus, in order to model chemical plants, design and model chemical plants. So it incorporates all of the expertise that they've developed over their chemical engineering experience at Virginia Tech, along with their unit operations lab knowledge into designing and optimizing chemical processes for industry. They use applied economic analysis, they get to utilize their communication skills and understanding of safety and design. So we design things for real industrial applications and they gain a valuable working experience with the industry advisors. We have a number of companies that have interacted with us and continue to interact with our senior design classes in order to provide real world experience for our graduates. Just to give you a view of where some of our alumni are currently working, we have Quinn Costin, who was a 2010 Virginia Tech alum, BS in Chemical Engineering. He's now working in ExxonMobil. We also have Lori Wagner, who is a PhD from Virginia Tech. Uh, she did both her undergraduate and her graduate work at Virginia Tech. She works on Spectra Fabrics bulletproof vest design, uh, armor design for Honeywell Corporation in Virginia. Next we have Kania Robinson who's involved with Frito-Lay. She's a site quality and food safety manager for Frito-Lay. Uh, so you can end up or choose a career in the food industry if you have chemical engineering expertise. Chris McDowell works for Novazymes. He's the plant site lead at the Novozymes plant in Salem, Virginia. Chemical engineers are highly desired and compensated. This is information from the chemical engineering process in 2017. Every several years, the AICHE, the organization, uh, career organization for chemical engineers, publishes data on this. So some of the recent data shows that chemical engineers uh, start out in about the $70,000 range. In 2018, chemical engineering students at Virginia Tech were $72,000 with a $5,000 bonus. And you see the growth in salary over the career. So chemical engineers are highly compensated and benefit greatly from their expertise that they learn in school. Uh, job growth, the ex estimated job growth of chemical engineering is shown down here. Unemployment for chemical engineers is very low, typically in the 2 to 3% range associated with those changing roles. We have a number of co-op and internship opportunities that are afforded our undergraduate students. These are some of the companies that offer co-ops or internships. We have Avonic. DuPont, ExxonMobil, Westrock, Anheuser-Busch, Advance 6, The Clorox Company, Ingevity, BAE Systems, Eastman, and in the past, Marathon. 
So chemical engineering is one of the highest possibilities of gaining a co-op. On a per capita student basis, we have the highest rates of co-ops and internships in the College of Engineering. You can also do undergraduate research in chemical engineering. Jim Owens, one of our seniors, he's the president of our AICHE student organization. Uh, he has done undergraduate research in chemical engineering. It typically involves about three to nine hours a week uh, working with a graduate student and designing and executing experiments. This is another experiential learning opportunity. Another experiential learning opportunity afforded in chemical engineering is our chemi car team. You run and stop via chemical reactions this chemical car at a di given distance at the competition. It has onboard controls and they develop knowledge base in kinetics, controls, and design. Our chemi car team has been highly successful and last year won the national competition. For more information on the Department of Chemical Engineering, please log on to our website and browse it for current news, faculty information, and additional information on our experiential learning opportunities. If you want individualized responses to your questions, please contact me, Dr. Gary Whiting. I'm the undergraduate advisor and a professor of practice in the department. I can be reached at gwhiting at vt.edu. For those of you on the Hokie Focus chat, please stay on and we'll be able to answer any questions that you might have on that text chat. Thank you for your time.